My name is John Marlin and I am a program manager on the high availability and storage team. I own failover clustering and this is a seven part video series detailing many of the new features that we have with Windows Server 2019 failover clustering and storage spaces direct. In part one of this series, We'll be looking back at some of the information about Windows Server 2016, what's been going on, what's happening, what we did. We'll look ahead to what we were thinking about and what we were doing with Windows 29 failover clustering. We'll also talk just a little bit about the Azure Stack HCI. So if we take a look back at Windows 2016, 10,000 storage bases deployments in the first 18 month. This is huge for a V1 product. We were named CRN 2018 product of the year for software defined storage with our storage spaces direct. 1.5 million running virtual machines on 2016 clusters and almost 200,000 machines with failover clustering installed. We had the WSSD program, Windows Server Software Defined. We created this specifically for our software defined networking, software defined storage, storage spaces direct. In it, we had hardware solutions tested, validated, and sold from our vendors specifically for storage spaces direct. Over the years, in some of the dealings that we have had with various people, talking to many people, some people haven't heard of it and not aware that it exists. Basically, off the Microsoft.com website, we've got our software-defined data center program. In it, you can go through a list of all the different vendors, what solutions they have, what are their configurations, everything about what you need. These are tested, verified solutions to work with Storage Spaces Direct. Many of the questions that we've had is, well, if, if I don't want to do it this, can I piece it together? The answer to that question, yes, you can. However, please remember this isn't fully a fully tested solution. It very well, very well may work just fine. We're not saying don't do it. It's just our recommendation for 2016, go through the WSSD program. So looking ahead towards Windows 2019, what are some of the stuff that we um, looked at? One of the things, improving the efficiency, making everything better. We simplified the management, and we'll talk a little bit about that. We expanded the hardware ecosystem to involve a lot more hardware especially newer hardware so we made those accommodations for it we made it more flexible more scalable with some of the new the new features that we had we also from a storage spaces direct our software defined um, storage solutions azure stack hci there's been uh, many talks about it so i'm just going to briefly cover it um, we've got our three pillars if you, if you may, for Azure, we've got Azure fully public cloud. Everything runs in the public cloud. On-demand, self-serving computer resources, modernizing existing apps, cloud-native apps, everything is in the cloud. We have Azure Stack, which is our put-together solution offered from various vendors running Azure Stack, in essence, Azure like on premises. And then of course we have the Azure Stack HCI, which is the various solutions that you can offer and have put together for your needs for on premises. In layman's terms, the difference between them all, Azure is pretty obvious. All cloud, Everything is cloud. Everything's in the cloud. Everything runs in the cloud. Azure Stack turnkey solution where the infrastructure is built for you. All you've got to do 
order the Azure Stack system. It's put together for you. All you do, turn it on, get into the portal, and start managing the environment. Azure Stack HCI, slightly different, you control and manage your own hardware. Difference is, is the infrastructure. Do you want to control the infrastructure or do you not want to control the infrastructure? Those are the basic differences. Plus, you've got a lot more hardware options available to you with Azure Stack HCI. In wrapping up this first part, we took a look back at some of the stuff for Windows 2016 failover clustering, uh, millions of virtual machines, SR product of the year, and a little bit about Azure Stack HCI for 2019. In the next video, part two, we'll talk a little bit about Windows Admin Center, cluster performance history, Windows Insights, and persistent memory. Thank you for watching.